Anyway, today we're actually going to look at making a beer bread, following a recipe out of this book right here, The Secrets of a Jewish Baker. He does not actually have any beer bread recipes in there, so I'm modifying one of his recipes to actually make something with beer and make the classic thing that beer is liquid bread, so we're actually using beer to make bread. Something weird and different. We're going to start with, I've got an IPA right here that has been heated up to about where you would want it for the yeast. It's got a higher temperature than beer. It's roughly around 100 degrees. Then I've got about a tablespoon and a half of yeast that I'm going to add to and let soften. And as, while well, this is, or after this is softened and ready to go, we're going to add about three cups of flour to make a sponge. Usually breads come out better with a sponge. It allows the yeast to actually have something to start working with, gets it acclimated and ready to go. It makes much softer, much better breads that way. Okay. The yeast has softened a little bit now, so now we're going to add the flour. Like I said, this is actually creating the sponge that will give us the main working force for the uh, full final bread later on. Let's get this in, get it mixed in real good. And yes, it is sloppy, it's messy, eh, kind of like ruin. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to look perfect or anything. Just try and get it all wet. Get it spread around real good. And there we go. Now what will happen is, I will cover this and let it rest for about a half hour. Gives the yeast time to get started, starts feasting on this, uh, the sugar and the flour that's right here. So it'll be ready for when I add the rest of the flour and then start kneading it for when it rises then it makes good It's bread. been about a half hour and this is what the sponge looks like now. You can see that it's starting to get gelatinous and if you look really close you can see some air bubbles coming out that let you know the yeast is actually working. Just like with brewing, the yeast, the yeast uh, do carbon dioxide and alcohol and if you smell this you really can smell the alcohol coming out. It's more than just the beer that's in there, it's the yeast actually working. That's where, and that carbon dioxide was what we're going to want to trap later when we actually make the bread that's going to give us that nice crumb inside the bread. Okay, our next step here is we're going to add two cups of, of uh, bread flour again. Actually, no, this was a cup of bread flour and a cup of all-purpose flour. Next, add three tablespoons of oil. Two teaspoons of salt and three tablespoons of sugar. What we're going to do next, we're going to get it started. Get it, get it started working right here. And after it's uh, pulling away just right, we're going to pull it out. We're going to pull it out of the bowl. We're going to hand knead it. You could easily do this recipe with. A food mixer or with a food, yeah, with a mixer. I prefer the hand method. Okay, notice it's starting to come together a little bit. So now we're going to clear it out of this bowl. Get all we can out of it. And this is where we get to get our hands dirty. I find it very therapeutic. When you're making bread, I cannot stress enough how, how important to have a bench knife really is. Yes, that's what this is called. It's a bench knife or a dough cutter, if you will. Okay. From here, I'm also going to get another cup of all-purpose flour. As needed, we can keep dusting the surface because this will get sticky. Okay, we're going to start working it and you can already see it's, it's sticky. But we're gonna soak in all this all this excess flour right here before we start adding more in. Okay. Now as you can see it's starting to come together. And it takes about 10 to 15 minutes of serious kneading to get this into a good shape. Get it to where you want it. It's starting to feel right. It's still a little bit sticky. I've still got flour I can feed into it. So we're we're actually not doing too bad. Feels about right. 
it's an, it's turn it's really a nice it's going to be a nice loaf of bread actually it'll be two but yeah okay, yeah you just for kneading this is all you do just keep on working the dough letting it letting it eat up that flour incorporate it into its being it's very therapeutic good for the good for the wrists and the hands. Filming. Okay. All right. We're actually at that point now where we're pretty much just about done messing with the dough. It's going to feel a little bit tacky, but it's smooth. feels really nice, and your hand is silky. All right. Now, this is where some of the fun parts begin. Playing with the dough, this is where you get to beat it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is going to be loud. What this does is it helps incorporate more air into it, and as we know from brewing, yeast need needs air to survive and grow, at least in the first stages. And what that that air helps it, it'll help it form the nice crumb on the inside that, like the air bubbles, the air pockets, those crumb that just makes the bread nice and soft. Right? This bread or this dough, it's a little bit tacky, but not sticky, for the most part. Next, what I'm going to do is transfer it from here back into the bowl. I'm going to grab some oil, or not. I'm going to grab some oil, spray it into the bowl. And now, I'm going to take this dough ball, sticky dough ball, okay. pop in. I'm going to coat it with the oil, make it nice and gooey. Right, and I'm going to cover it again. And now it's going to sit for at least another half hour to 40 minutes. So we've got time to go and do other things. Okay, now we're at the punching of the dough. That's such fun. We're going to pop the baby out. All right. And I'm going to go into uh, bread pans. You don't have to do that. In fact, this is an Italian bread recipe, and it actually calls for Italian loaves. I like to make sandwiches with it, so we use bread pans. What we're going to do here is we're going to separate them, try and get them roughly around the same weight when they go in the pan. Or not. Hold on. Get the scale right. Check the weight. Almost a little over a pound and a half there. Yeah, they're roughly around the same weight. We can go with them. So now I'm going to ball them up. Like so. We're going to cover them before we actually form them into the bread or into the pans. We're going to let them rest like this for about 10 minutes. Set our timer. And while that's happening, we're going to take the time to get the bread pans ready. So we'll spray them up. Actually grease up the pans pretty good. Yeah. are ready so now we just got to wait just a few minutes to let these rest again and then we'll form them into the loaves to go into the pans and then they'll rest for another 45 minutes there and then we'll bake them all right now we uncover we're gonna punch them down again get some of that excess excess air out all the air bubbles okay now you could get real fancy, roll them up, all that kind of weird stuff, but because I'm going in bread pans, kind of take them the way they are, just kind of squeeze them in, just like so. Okay, on this one, get some of the excess air bubbles out, yeah, and squeeze it in. 
this squeezing is actually going to get it to form to the shape of the pan. Which nice, gives us a nice actual loaf of bread when they're finally done. All right, they come over here. And they're going to rise for roughly another half hour to 45 minutes. And after that, we are going to bake them. Set the timer. We're good. Okay, we've been right. We've been rising for roughly about a half hour. I'm about to put them in the oven. First thing I'm going to do is do a little slice along the top of them. What that slice does is it helps them rise without cracking as much. You don't want to. It lets the gas escape. I'm also going to cook them in the oven with water to steam them. So I got a little pan with water. Goes in. And we throw in our loaves. These are going to cook for roughly about 20 minutes just as they are right now. Set our timer again. And once we've hit that 20 minute mark, we're going to pull them out of the pans and cook them for about 5 minutes without the pan at all. Cut. Alright, as you can see we're about to take them out of the pan. They're pretty much close to done. Got to beat them up a little bit. There it goes. Pops right out. I actually might be just fine not having to do it now. Nice lovely loaves of bread. Yeah, crust actually on the outside isn't bad. Yep. Actually, at this point we are done. I'm not gonna the the it's nice and salad and you hear the thump in there. That's a nice done loaf of bread. Perfect and done. Start to finish. Here we go. Ta-da.